Apple and Google are two of the world's most powerful tech companies. When these two companies take a stand, it is news. But a collective decision by these two companies today smacks of hypocrisy. Apple and Google will ban location tracking in their contract tracing apps. They made this announcement together. And this is a major decision. One that affects almost 99% of smartphone users in the world, practically everyone. Apple and Google say they are protecting user privacy. We say this grandstanding is a little hard to di digest given the fact that major tech companies are responsible for some of the biggest privacy debacles in recent history. Google says it cares about user privacy, but it runs its business on an advertising model that depends on collection of personal information. It was around 20 years ago that Google introduced a privacy statement. The company hardly stays on the right side of it. Several privacy controversies have plagued the company in the past, Personal information has been leaked. Google itself has been caught storing user location data. The search engine giant has been unable to shake off any of these concerns. What about Apple? A couple of years back, Apple CEO Tim Cook had defined privacy as a fundamental right very well. Apple wants you to believe that it is the only tech company that you can trust. The company has positioned itself as a protector of users' interests. To give credit where it's due, Apple itself has not been caught in any major privacy scandal. But we cannot say the same about Apple's business partners. And this is where the App Store comes in. Apple has one of the biggest app directories. It is highly profitable. But Apple has allowed privacy violators to freely operate on it. Even children have not been spared. A journalist from the Wall Street Journal put out a story. She wrote about Curious George. It sounds like a harmless game. But it was collecting her son's age and name and data of whatever he tapped on the phone. Now this journalist ended up testing 80 apps, 8-0. Most of them were promoted in the app stores, in the apps we love section. She found that 79 apps use third-party trackers for marketing, for ads or analytics. On average, there were at least four trackers in every app. So it's a bit rich when Apple and Google ban GPS tracking on contact tracing apps in the name of privacy. Contact tracing is common now. Experts consider it a crucial tool in the fight against the coronavirus. Let me also be clear, there are legitimate concerns over how certain contact tracing apps operate and collect data. There are court cases, there's a public debate, as there should be. But when tech companies try to preach privacy and say that they're preventing governments from compiling data on citizens, it is just a case of the pot calling the kettle black.